Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AEO Grey Organics. In this video, we will see what is the next step after seat allotment or upgradation in ICR or PG counseling round 2. Before going into this video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture education and ICR counseling videos in English since 2021. So, you can share our channel with your friends also. So, if you log in to your dashboard, so in your dashboard, you can see these things that is a uh, first one is rank card next is um, register for seat allocation preview form allotment letter then you can see admission payment next uh, accept or freeze admission upgradation cancel or withdraw admission so these are the different steps that you can see in your dashboard so as i mentioned in previous video you can see your uh, allotted college during the different rounds in this uh, preview form also so in preview form they have mentioned with regard to this allotment letter so if you click on here here you can see the allotment letter of um, the university that you have allotted during the second round counseling so here they will mention subject course institute and college and um, payment status will be already paid because you have paid a fees at the time of first round counseling only so payment status will be paid but if you have not got seat allotment during the first round and uh, you got um, seat allotment only during the second round then this uh, payment status will not be there so you have to pay the amount that is 10,000 rupees for uh, upgradation but uh, the university should uh, verify the documents so after that only you can go for seat acceptance and uh, payment of the fees or for upgradation so all other steps i have uploaded in our previous videos only i will explain once again in this video also so then here you can go for view here uh, the university that allotted in round 2 will appear so if you click on this view option here you can go for this allotted university so which course and allotted university and allotted round as i mentioned in the previous video so for this student the allotted category was changed from obc to unresolved but the university was not changed and even the course was not changed okay this is with regard to allotment letter so next we will go for admission payment so if you have already done your payment so you no need to do the payment again as i mentioned earlier but if you have not done the payment you can do the payment once the verification is over okay but if your documents have not yet verified by the allotted university so you wait up to the verification of the time you can pay this 10,000 rupees seat acceptance fees. So this one I have explained in previous videos only. Just you can go through those videos also. So as the student have already paid the fees. So during first round only. So here it appears the payment um, status as payment is successful during the round 2. And even during the round 1. And the ID will also be same. Because uh, they have done payment during the first round only. Then uh, with regard to this um, upgrade acceptor freeze admission so once you did the payment there will be the option of freeze here here also this college name everything will appear so here i will explain clearly so here it will be the option for freeze admission that is freeze my seat and send otp so if you want to freeze the seat you have to click on here freeze my seat in this green color so that one otp will be sent to your mail okay so you have to enter that otp then you can freeze the seat so you will receive your otp on your registered email id only and freezing of seats is subject to final verification of the document if still pending if any document is still pending you cannot freeze so that is um, if that particular documents are verified then only you can do this freezing so here you may have some doubt if you are going to freeze the seat then you are accepting the college that are or the course that what is allotted at this particular round okay you cannot go for upgradation you cannot participate in the mop up round okay this is the meaning for this freezing then another there is another one option i will tell so here upgradation okay so here is the option for upgradation here as usual this application name college name then amount paid the payment status everything will appear so already they have paid okay so it came paid so here will be upgrade admission okay upgrade my seat or send otp so here also that otp will come your registered mail id so you have to enter that otp what does mean by upgradation means the university has been allotted to you in this particular round but you are not satisfied with the course or the university that is allotted to you in this round also so then you are going for upgradation okay so this is known as upgradation you can get the seat allotment only in the higher order choice filling not in the lower order for example here you may have did choice filling for 40 universities okay now you got seat allotment to 30th university or the course okay you consider 30th so now during the upgradation there is a chance for you to get the seat in the universities that you have given choice preference from 1 to 
30 this 30 will also be included because if there is a no chance for upgradation the university or the course that you have allotted now will be retained so you can go for this upgradation only from 1 to 30 or 1 to 29 you cannot go for the upgradation from 31 to 40 okay now you have to forget about this 31 to 40th option you can go for upgradation only from this 1 to 30th option so this is known as upgradation so if you are not interested in the university or the course that you have allotted to now so you can go for this upgradation okay then many are having doubt whether this upgradation is possible only up to this round or it is possible for next round also you can give the upgradation up to third round so till the fourth round seat allotment you may get the upgraded seat so for example the seat you may not uh, you you have got during the first round if you don't like so you have given upgradation for second round okay now also you are not liking that seat then you can give upgradation for third round then also you are not liking the seat then you can give upgradation for fourth round so these are the different stages of uh, seat upgradation so you are able to do upgradation only for these four rounds you cannot give for mop up round because you once you have given upgradation during the first round you are not eligible to participate in the mop up round that i will clearly tell okay these are the different things next uh, another one is uh, cancel or withdraw admission the university which you have allotted or the course which you have allotted you are not interested then you can withdraw the admission so the refund will be around 9000 rupees only 9000 rupees will be refunded and this will not be refunded immediately it may take three months five months six months like that so here also you need to enter but i will not recommend for withdrawing of the seat you can withdraw the seat during your third round or fourth round don't withdraw the seat now only because there may be the good chance for you to get the good colleges during the fourth round another one thing also i will tell if you are not interested in doing pg or um, there's a chance for you to get a withdraw during the last round then don't waste the seat of any other student whose dream is doing pg or phd through icer counseling because you are not only wasting your seat you are also wasting the life of another one student okay this one i will tell clearly because we will be telling this every time but um, students will not follow this if you are going to withdraw the seat you withdraw now only i will tell frankly so you in the upcoming rounds there may be the chance for another student to get alerted to that particular university so that will be useful for those students so it is not fair to or it is not good to spoil the life of another one student okay so these are the different steps that are available after a second round seat allotment in this id they got a seat allotment in the first round only but if you have not got a seat allotment during the first round and if you got seat allotment only during the second round so there will be different options so first option the you can upload those documents i think so so then the particular university will verify the documents okay after verification they may tell you to re-upload the documents if that particular university want uploading of the documents you have to upload the documents again after the clarification the seat will be accepted and then it will show the verification status as verified and then you can pay this 10,000 rupees seat acceptance fees so after this 10,000 rupees seat acceptance fees there will be the chance for you to get these options so that is accept or freeze upgradation and cancel or withdraw